हेलो एंड नमस्ते एवरीवन वेलकम टू माय चैनल सिग्मा एक्स म विवेक र आज हामी हिट एंड थर्मोडायनामिकको चेन्ज अफ स्टेट सँग रिलेटेड न्यूमेरिकल प्रब्लमहरु कसरी सल्भ गर्ने भन्ने कुरा सिक्न जाँदै छौ व्हाट इज द टोटल अमाउन्ट अफ हिट रिक्वायर्ड टु कन्भर्ट 10 ग्राम अफ आइस एट -10 डिग्री सेल्सियस इन्टु द स्टीम एट 100 डिग्री सेल्सियस यो क्वेशन लाई और को तारीख आले पनी सोचने से किंजा जस्ते find the amount of heat required to boil of 10 gram of ice at minus 10 degree Celsius अब यो क्वेशन मा 10 gram of ice लाई के गरने बने को सा boil of और अब boil of वन्ना ले के बुजनु पर चा that is conversion of the given 10 gram of ice into steam at the boiling point which is 100 degree Celsius now how are we going to solve this problem? First of all, we should know that there are two distinct processes going on during this conversion from ice to steam. Number one, there is the change in temperature without the change in state. This means that we provide heat energy to substance ko temperature change garne kaam matre gari rasa, tara state bani change gari ko chayna. Number two, there is the change in state without the change in temperature. Isko matlab, hami le provide gari ke heat energy le tiyo substance ko state change gari raha cha. Tara, temperature vani change gari da ina. In case number one, that is temperature change, we should apply the formula Q is equals to mc dt in order to calculate the amount of heat required for the change. Here, in Q equals to mc dt, Q represents the amount of heat, m represents the amount of mass, dt represents the change in temperature, that is, final temperature minus initial temperature, and C represents specific heat capacity. For our problem, we should note that the specific heat capacity of ice, Ci, is 0.5 calorie per gram per degree Celsius in CGS unit, or 2100 joule per kg per kelvin in SI unit. तर यस्तो खालको प्रब्लम्स मा CGS युनिट मा रहेको भ्यालु युज गर्दा सजिलो हुन्छ। त्यसैले हामीले यो प्रब्लम मा CGS युनिट को भ्यालुजहरु युज गर्छौं। सिमिलरली द स्पेसिफिक हिट क्यापसिटी अफ वाटर इज 1 क्यालोरी पर ग्राम पर डिग्री सेल्सियस इन CGS युनिट और 4200 जूल पर kg पर केल्भिन इन SI युनिट। in case number 2, that is state change, we should apply the formula Q is equals to ML in order to calculate the amount of heat required for the change. Here, in Q is equals to ML, Q represents the amount of heat, M represents the amount of mass, and L represents the latent heat. Actually, there are two types of latent heat. Latent heat of fusion, which occurs at melting point and is denoted by LF, and latent heat of vaporization, which occurs at boiling point and is denoted by LV. What is latent heat actually? It is the amount of heat required to change the state of unit mass of substance from solid to liquid or from liquid to vapor without any change in its temperature. If the change occurs from solid to liquid then the amount of heat required by unit mass is called latent heat of fusion whereas if it occurs from liquid to vapor then it is called latent heat of vaporization. For our problem we should know that the latent heat of fusion for ice LF is 80 calorie per gram in CGS unit or 3.36 into 10 to the power 5 joule per kg in SI units. Whereas the latent heat of vaporization for water, LV, is 540 calorie per gram in CGS unit or 2.26 into 10 to the power 6 joule per kg in SI units. Now, let's draw a diagram to visualize what processes are going on when 10 gram of ice at minus 10 degree Celsius is converted into steam at 100 degree Celsius. First matter, ice at minus 10 degree Celsius, ice at 0 degree Celsius ma convert unza. Let Q1 be the amount of heat required to convert 10 gram of ice at minus 10 degree Celsius into 10 gram of ice at 0 degree Celsius. Tespasi, ice at 0 degree Celsius le 
स्टेट चेंज करें वाटर एट जेरो डिग्री सेल्सिस बन विदउट चेंज इन टेम्परेचर लेट क्यू टू बी दी एमाउंट अफ हिट रिक्वायर टू कन्वर्ट टेन ग्राम अफ आइस एट जेरो डिग्री सेल्सिस इंटू टेन ग्राम अफ वाटर एट जेरो डिग्री सेल्सिस अब वाटर एट जेरो डिग्री सेल्सिस वाटर एट हंड्रेड डिग्री सेल्सिस में कन्वर्ट हो लेट क्यू थ्री बी दी एमाउंट अफ हिट रिक्वायर टू कन्वर्ट टेन ग्राम अफ वाटर एट जेरो डिग्री सेल्सिस इंटू टेन ग्राम अफ वाटर एट हंड्रेड डिग्री सेल्सिस एंड फाइनली टेन ग्राम अफ वाटर एट हंड्रेड डिग्री सेल्सिस स्टेट चेंज कर स्टीम एट हंड्रेड डिग्री सेल्सिस बन लेट क्यू फोर बी दी एमाउंट अफ हिट रिक्वायर टू कन्वर्ट टेन ग्राम अफ वाटर एट हंड्रेड डिग्री सेल्सिस इंटू टेन ग्राम अफ स्टीम विदउट चेंज इन ट्रेम्परेचर हेन्स द टोटल एमाउंट अफ हिट रिक्वायर टू कन्वर्ट टेन ग्राम अफ आइस एट माइनस टेन डिग्री सेल्सिस इंटू स्टीम एट हंड्रेड डिग्री सेल्सिस क्यू इज इक्वल टू क्यू वन प्लस क्यू टू प्लस क्यू थ्री प्लस क्यू फोर दैट मिन्स यदि हमीर क्यू वन क्यू टू क्यू थ्री र्यू फोर को भैल्यूज पत्ता लगाये वी कैन इजिली फाइन द टोटल एमाउंट अफ हिट नाउ लेट्स क्याकुलेट क्यू वन क्यू टू क्यू थ्री एंड क्यू फोर Here, Q1 represents temperature change of ice from minus 10 degree Celsius to zero degree Celsius, so that Q1 is equals to m times specific heat capacity of ice times change in temperature. Here, change in temperature dT is equals to final temperature zero degree minus initial temperature minus 10 degree, which is equal to 10 degree Celsius. Hence, Q1 is equals to 10 gram times 0.5 calorie per gram per degree Celsius times 10 degree Celsius, which is equal to 50 calorie. Similarly, Q2 represents state change of ice into water, so that Q2 is equal to m times Latin heat of fusion. We know that the Latin heat of fusion for ice is 80 calorie per gram. This is the Q2 is equals to 10 gram times 80 calorie per gram, which is equal to 800 calorie. Similarly, Q3 represents temperature change of water from 0 degree Celsius to 100 degree Celsius, so that Q3 is equals to mass times specific heat capacity of water times change in temperature. Here, change in temperature dT is equals to final temperature 100 degree Celsius minus initial temperature 0 degree Celsius, which is equal to 100 degree Celsius. Hence, Q3 is equals to 10 gram times 1 calorie per gram per degree Celsius times 100 degree Celsius, which is equal to 100 calorie. Similarly, Q4 represents state change of water into steam. So that Q3 is equals to mass times Latin heat of vaporization. Hence, Q3 is equals to 10 gram times 540 calorie per gram, which is equal to 5400 calorie. Finally, the total amount of heat required Q is equals to Q1 plus Q2 plus Q3 plus Q4, or Q is equals to 50 calorie plus 800 calorie plus 1000 calorie plus 5400 calorie which is equal to 7250 calorie hence the total amount of heat required to convert 10 gram of ice at minus 10 degree celsius into steam at 100 degree celsius is 7250 calorie in this way we can solve this kind of problem i hope you all can solve problems related to change in state thank you so much for watching If you like this video then please don't forget to like comment subscribe and share this video with your friends I will see you guys in my next video till then bye bye